Hello again, welcome back to the card mat. I was watching a video earlier today by a young lad called Finn. He's got his own little channel, Finn's Magic. He's only a young lad, but he's got some good stuff on there, especially for beginners. And I was watching one of his videos today on that, the Faro Shuffle. And it just brought to mind two little tricks, and hopefully I'll get the two of them in on this. So I'll shut up and I'll get on with it. But first off, I have to bring in a barrier, so forgive me. I've got to stick a little board up there, so if it darkens the screen a little, I'm sorry. But I need a little board. Right. Now the first one is called the gun trick. You've probably heard of it. An escapee. Yeah, you've probably heard of the gun trick. He was probably the only about the gun. That's why he was trying to get away. So you've probably heard of it. And it does rely on the pharaoh. So first off, you start off by taking out a card to be your bullet. Because obviously with a gun, you need a bullet. So the most obvious one is the Ace of Spades. And you split off just under half of the packet from the top. Or rather, take off just under half of the packet from the bottom. And then furrow them together, but not the top cards, just all in the middle. And it's got to be a perfect furrow. That's the only problem. It's got to be perfect. Right? I'm not supposed to see this, by the way. I'm not supposed to see what card you're picking. I just riffle the top cards and ask you to say stop anywhere you like. And you say stop there. At that card. Right? So that's the card you stopped at. So hopefully you can remember that. I'm trying to get a bunch of seven of spades. Right? So, you've seen the seven of spades. Then you just turn... The top half down as if it's a gun and you take your bully and you load your bully right inside the magazine with me so far yeah now you get the bully to go straight into the gun and one card flies out good job well didn't even hit the barrier but that one card just happens to be the seven of spades dead easy as i say just using the pharaoh All you do is get a deck, give it a shuffle if you'd like, while you're explaining about your little gun trick. As I say, break off just under half of the bottom, so that you can make sure that all of them are furrowed into the other cards. So you've got all of them there. Right? So it's, a, it's an incorrect furrow if you like, because you should end up with the cards obviously, as you know. But you do so you can hold them, as if you're going to do a fan, you know, one of them. But I'm not doing one of them. I need to get on with it. I've got another one to do after this. Right. So you get them into a farrow. And then all you do is just riffle the cards as you see. And when they say stop, all you're doing is spreading it open down there. And catching a pinky break. But they don't see that. Because you've got your hands covering it. Clever that, isn't it? So they, they say stop. And they stop their, eh, that card there. Which, as we can see, is the Eight of Diamonds. You've got a break. Right above that Eight of Diamonds. I didn't take a bullet out. Silly me. We'll use the seven of spades as a bully. You just turn the cards around. They might be a bit stiff as you're doing it, but persevere and get into that type of a, a gun shape. You know, like what you used to do, what you used to make with your Lego when you were a kid. You used to make a square bloody gun out of your Lego, didn't you? Strange kids we were. And you call it a bloody laser as well. Then all you're doing is feeding that card straight into the, the gap where you had and you can let go of the pinky break then. And just push it up and you'll feel it start to touch, well, you not start to, but you will feel it touching that card. As you can see, it's starting to push it out and you don't want to do that. So you put it in until you feel it touch it and you stop. And then you just go, and the card flies out like that, the way it's supposed to, not the way I've done it. It was a bit um, limp, I could have done with a bit of Viagra, I think. Anyway. The card jumps out. So that's the first one. The gun. You've seen that. That was dead easy, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, this one's just as easy. Hey, <laughs> he says. Um, get the aces. You can either have four cards chosen, or you can just do it as a like a little display using four aces or four cards of your choice. Right. And you get them. 
and you show them and you get them lost into the packet but you don't because you're going to do that nice little move where you just top the top part of the pack down onto them grip hold of them so you're stripping out the aces as you start doing that right so they think them cards have all gone and got bloody lost somewhere inside the packet don't they now for some reason i think i've got the cards in the wrong position i have you can then give them a shuffle because you need them aces actually on the top of the packet so when you're getting down to the last couple of cards you're just peeling them off one at a time to make sure you get the four aces all the way to the top right once you've got them on the top you break off a small portion from the top again about just under half sort of take the top half forward and feed them in so you're doing another perfect farrow well it doesn't matter about the bottom so much as long as them top cards are farrowed right then you're just pushing them in but as you push them in push them in on an angle so you've got a nice little going up and then you just got hold of the packet you keep a pretty firm grip because you don't want all the cards coming out as you do this and I'll do this slowly you can see the top card just edges forward and then you get the second card edging forward then the third one too many have gone oofy there with me doing slow and then the fourth one comes out but obviously he says going to now try and show you at a fast pace let's get these back farrowed what am I doing here? That's an ace. That's a bloody ace. That one down there. That's the ace you want it up. I guess they're two aces. Yeah. You want that down. You want... I do apologise. I'm taking my time here. As you can see, I'm not doing nothing at all. I'm not trying to get it sorted as quick as possible to show you it in fast motion. Because when you do it properly, and you've got hold of it, and you're doing it quick, boom, you can get it like that way. <laughs> that was a bit... Oofy, there's one ace, there's two ace, there's a third ace down here on the floor. Oh, 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 where are you? Down here. There's a third ace there on the floor. I'll get myself back into my sixth position. And that shouldn't have worked like that. That should have been. But you get the idea, they. So you can't. Oh, I'll shove that one back in. Oh dear. It's every time you're in a rush, isn't it? Every time you're in the rush, you always get somebody knocking on the door wanting to use your toilet. Right, so they're in right. You've got to take grip and go. Yeah, onto, bang your hand onto something, it does help. And there we go, two of them flew out again. One back there on the windowsill, and another one down on the blue. I'll pick that up in a minute, but you get the idea, you know what I mean. And they're just two two little tricks that you can do from a farrow shuffle. I hope you enjoyed them, I'll get that in a minute. Yeah, thanks for watching, give them a bit of a go if you like. Totally up to you. I only show you the things. I don't, I'm not forcing you. There's no arm twisting from me. If you don't want to do them, don't do them. If you think they're okay to do, do them. But they are a nice crowd pleaser. Thank you very much anyway. I'm going to shut up now because I'm just rabbiting. I'll see you again soon.